Are is it good? For more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before there each and every sale. Hmm. Hey, Tom. There's hey, Tom. something I can help you with? What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flowers. <clears throat> Help spread the word. How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Uh, don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. Dude, my boy she Butch. She's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. I've what actually had spicy next, chocolate huh? before. I've also had a spicy um, jalapeno martini. That was pretty good. This might be a weird question, but <clears throat> do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think yep. she's still got the CD back here. Is a good? little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Okay, I can, I can, uh, I can vibe with Tom. You know. I was happy when it got put away. To be honest, a bit cheesy for my tastes. <clears throat> It's just the Backstreet Boys. That'd be so funny. This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Where I don't see it. Team? There we go. Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? <laughs> what the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. Tessa but was a good gal. I don't know. Look. Okay, okay, whatever you want. There, happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close, like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. <laughs> we should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. I like. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. 
I'm fine. Oh, yeah. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can oh, help. Oh no. <clears throat> What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, yeah. maybe conversion therapy. Jesus. Bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. So are we hitting Tessa with some hard proof? Wait, am I just sneaking in here? Can I help you, Allison? Oh, no, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing here? The pious pelican. Dude, does she care that I'm like literally in her cabinet? 2004. Anything interesting? Elijah June 24 for a meal at the restaurant paid off it's all for the kid Um, Eric B 50 March paid off everybody's debt 20 for gas paid in full Oh god No show It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004 Five months before that night. No show, no show. Uh oh. Are we just doing this in front of her? It's like Allison, do you? I'm I'm standing right here, bro. Do you want to just you want to talk about it? You know? <laughs> Am I just gonna like? She's busy. Uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Linda! What if I told you the government owed you $10,000 in cash to go to school? This is not a loan. You won't have to pay back. This is not a scam. Dude, guys, 10000 bucks? Holy shit. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? E is that what she recommended for Tyler? Yikes. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yikes. This one away. Garlic peeler kitchen tool. I do like me some garlic. So, dude, garlic! It's all coming together? It's all coming to fucking together, dude! It's fucking everywhere! Hey, Tessie, I just got back from my workation and found the girls in bed sleeping like happy logs. Adrian said they were riding high when he picked them up from your place today, and apparently he got them both to eat. Kare kare? Please let me... What the fuck? Excuse me? Okay, please let me know what saint you prayed to pull that off, lol. All morning, they've been going on and on about their camping trip with Auntie Tessa and all the s'mores they ate and bugs they caught. I can't remember the last time they were both as happy at the same time. You see, one is happy as the other is crying. Uh, I know you're busy with the store and getting ready to be first lady, so thanks for making time for them. So sorry about the last minute drop off. Yeah, how work has been. Girls say, we love you, Auntie Tessa. P.S. You and Tom should come for dinner sometime. Adrian's been dying to show him the new media room. Ah! Yeah, got a good sense <laughs> of what we're no, we're I clicked. I right clicked. Fuck. Okay, well. Boys will be boys, basically. <clears throat> Yo, Tessa. Not this time, bitch. Is there something I can do for you? We're back. With details that should help your memory. Gods are shining Oh, really? Us. Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. Now, when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. No, dude, I don't know. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. 
I don't know why she always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated. Oh, did it? Damn it! I should have. I should have done it. From a stone. Notorious. Yeah. Nice we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. Is it this one? We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, oh. Um, I... T Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was... coming apart at the seams. Uh-oh. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things <laughs> about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help. Both of you, at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? Yeah, that's, that's fuck. I do. Now. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. She was? So then why did she have Listen, the gun? That means- I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. Well, get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. How many episodes are there? I, th I think it's either three or five. I'm dumb though, and I'm not sure. Can we sure. grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. I, I mean, I was playing Alice, yeah. you know. And Marianne, she. Had my back? It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. Did she though? I'm not so sure. She was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. It, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to Just feel however okay. you're feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. Smoke is bad, okay? <sighs> You're speaking my language. Smoking's bad! What? Sorry, I'm just... thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Alright, Eddie. We're about to interrogate the police chief. He's the police chief, right? Or am I stupid? Or is he just a policeman officer? La Policia. This is kind of bleak. It's <laughs> usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. Uncle Eddie. 
but what about drunk bears? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Can upstairs. bears get drunk? Is that a thing? Ed, Ed and Eddie, right? Oh, I'm still Allison? Okay. Damn. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? It's a local hero, dude. What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. Hey. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving yeah, officer. Yeah, <laughs> Officer Justin Beaver. I am the law. <laughs> Look at his teeth. <laughs> Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Put some respect, damn it. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. He was two days away from retirement. <laughs> and then that happened to him. Well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. 100% college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen by an online college. <laughs> too soon, Tyler. Too soon. Too little, too late. Stop hunting, lodge constraint on following. Protect salmon migration. Oh, that's still not cleaned up? Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during this spill. God, I hope not. Mining kills salmon. Yeah, I love salmon, so fuck the miners. Give me some salmon. Private. Private. It's locked. We, we in Silent Hill, every door we try to open is locked. Or jammed or something. Of course. It's locked. Locked, jammed. Any one of those. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. <laughs> Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Hell yeah, dude. I love me some good food. Good food. Good feeling. Religion. It's blocked from the other side, right? Locked. Yeah. Good. Da, 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 da. Claire Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? Yeah. Not Claire Brown. I thought you were still here when it happened. I don't remember it. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that Five feet, eight inches, garage, 200 right? pounds. Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. Here, Milo. He's been missing for a couple months. Gone. Damn. Always liked his art. Gone forever. They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Five feet, seven inches. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. Rot roll, Raggy. Hmm. Yo, let's get some vending machine food. Oh. Where's his memory? Did I miss it? You remember Dan and Shelby? Do Dan so. and Shelby? High schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot? Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Dude, same, right? Crazy to think some of the people I went to high school with are married, have kids, and huh. all that. Shit. Stop touching everything, Butterfingers. Sorry. I feel old, man. The Delos Crossing Raiders. They got a basketball team now? Yep. A few cops from this station and some firefighters from the next town over. How good are they? Mmm. Eddie's within earshot, right? I think so. Then they're great. <laughs> then they're great. They're not great. That's like... They're more than good. They're food. <laughs> uh, wait, I'm trying to read these. 
Pleasant Bay Mental Health Institute, patient transfer. Dean Becker, Kevin Sutton. Dean. I feel so small. Oh, Gregs. Just leaving this out on display again. Gregs? Like Officer Gregs? The one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. Oh, really? The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was <laughs> actually a pretty easy takedown. Why would you eat out of the chum bucket? Bakery Gregs? You're at Bakery Gregs. Ooh! Hell yeah. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Happy birthday! Dude, I know, I'm freaking toxic, I'm sorry. 29th birthday, Denise. Keep up good work, Eddie. Another year to prove that doesn't mean wiser. Have a kick-ass day, Dee Dee. Enjoy your last year of youth before joining the bitter 30-year-old lady club. Don't waste it, Rosie. Oh my god. Oh, we enjoyed those spicy chocolates. Happy it's birthday. Well, Josh. what did you expect, dum dum? You don't it's look a, a day station. over a hundred. Everybody gets one. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. She forgot her locker key. Not like this. Oh, she's got a doggo! That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, crazy D? Good old Crazy D. set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. Oh my god. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Dude, it's yep. Jet! He, uh, he died last year no! putting himself between D and a bear. What a good doggo, yeah. man. Poor D. What a hero. Jet's the hero that we don't deserve. Uh... I'm gonna draw a doggo. I think D was a dog in a past life. Uh, how good is my doggo drawing? Let's see it. Okay, that's not it's not the worst. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Yeah, sorry, D. I did a rod. Winner's list. I wonder if these are actual winners. Lance McKay, dude. Mackie? Lance Mackie? I don't know his name. Best manga artist 2020. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? She's pretty cool. Doggos are cool. Oh, yeah. She goes to the Iditarod every year, and she's got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man, I forgot what kind of kooky shit people are into out here. Hey now, I'm in the league. I'm in the yo, I'm in the league, boys. Let's go. Doggos are so cool, man. Where is this memory? Oh, here it is. Oh, the whole thing. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. In the holding cell? Jesus. Anywhere but a cell. I'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Mamma Mia. Here we go again. My, my. How can I resist you? Is this locked? Silent Hill? It's not! Is it blocked on the other side? It is! Oh my goodness. Something's in the way. Yeah. Ooh. Dude, these doors are 100% inspired by Silent mm. Hill. Everything's locked. They must have locked it already. Doors locked. It's jammed. It's locked from the other side. Mm. What do you know? Still locked. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? Uh, I don't know. 
stealing from mailboxes. This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. <coughs> that's illegal. That's hard asshole illegal. Snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. Dude, that asshole, man. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Oh my god. Sorry, it was a bad joke. Big oof. Is that him? Rest in peace, Jet. Dude, Jet was the true hero in this game. Imagine a bear is attacking you, but your best doggo friend is like, Don't worry, human. I will save you. Get away. And then he sacrifices himself so you can live. Jet was a hero we didn't deserve. Approximately 1003 hours of Greg, and yeah, he was best best boy. Responded to a theft right at approximately whatever and spoke to owner Lawrence Cooper. Uh, Cooper reported that his mailbox had been broken into. I, I checked it two days ago because I'm waiting on my new phone. It made me pay extra for shipping to get it here on time. Uh, but I said I ain't having that shit. I'm gonna pay him what I owe and not a dime more. They backed down and said it would be here Tuesday. This morning the lock was smashed as shit and there wasn't nothing in there. Probably that punk ass toe down. Oh, toe down is a street alias for Jarvis A. Solo. One of myself and officers guys as formerly number 12882. Last known address. Alameda Plaza Apartments. Or Almeda. Almeda? I don't know. Uh, Cooper also stated that he had been home all night prior to the incident and heard nothing unusual. Cooper went up to the state. When I when I find Toe Dan, I'm gonna stuff his ass up his own ass. Uh there was a caution against making criminal threats. Cooper then stated his willingness to prosecute Silo and was directed to seek charges with the brother. I'm going to stuff his ass up his own ass. Imagine, like, it was just us Tyler, turning around. Tyler, you coming? The water sound right there. Did you guys ever have these? I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. Yeah, that I means the armor. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. It's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah, you know, it's the armory. You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? Uh, archives are off limits. Then it broke. I don't know. LOL. But it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us. The handles file? you push down on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That dude, that's a big sad. They're okay. I mean, I honestly just rather have, you know, sink water. I, I don't know. That's what I grew Allison, up with. Hey. Just finishing up a call. Oh, that's going to be awkward. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Dude, Allison's hair Thank is clipping cool. through her neck. Holy hey. shit. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. The break room downstairs. I think they call it a beard that's... It's not clipping in this one, it was only in that cutscene. What's up, Queen Calico? How are you today? This is called, um, Tell Me Why. If you ever played Life is Strange, this is the same developer and this is their new game. It's, uh... I'd say, like, an interactive... Drama. How about that? Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. That's literally all I can think of. Gotta get some you know, Backstreet Boys in I really you. thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. How are you doing? This fry yay. Oh, we already said that this was blocked. What am I doing? Everything's going Something's well for you, way. Queen Calico. Go home from work. Alright, so it's time to start the weekend. Time to party. Let's go. Where's this memory? I don't see it. Is it inside? Maybe? I'm doing pretty good. I'm uh, really excited to play this because I absolutely loved... Hey. 
Let's go in. Life is strange. And where is this other... So I'm really excited for their stuff. For their new game. Maybe it's in here. Maybe I'm just dumb. Where's that? Oh, maybe I missed. Oh well. What kind of flag is that? I haven't seen it before. Let's see what this is. Oh, do you think we can open what's her name's thing? Is she left it here? What if I go yep, do it? It's locked. <laughs> yep, it's locked. So if I go. Yep. One of the best cops in town. Hey, she's Delos Crossing's best cop. Other than Eddie, of course. My bad. I wonder where Delos Crossing's best cop stashes in her locker. Maybe she keeps a spare key somewhere? That's what I'm gonna get. But is this bad? Do you think she'll be pissed off at me if I do this? She won't notice if we borrow this. We're right? criminals! We'll Criminal activity in a police station. We're insane. I don't care. I don't care. I made my choice. We got to live with the repercussions. Breaking and entering in the police station. Where is this memory, dude? I cannot find it. I make my own rules. We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but you never know where we might find information about that night. We're breaking the so. law, dude. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. <laughs> An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. Really? With the introduction of our new administrative software, all employees must reset their password. Please note that the reception desk computer can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Um, talk to Sally or maybe have any questions. Password, winner on my 20th B day. When's her B, oh, today's her B day, right? What's today? I don't remember what today is, what the hell? Is that Jay? Balto came through. Balto, it's Balto. So then, if I go back to her computer, I don't know what her username is, though. Do I? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I don't know what her username is, right? Hmm. Oh, was it? I should put the key back. There we go. Go on, let's check. I should take her out for a birthday drink. She said on her birthday? I actually have no idea. On her 20th birthday. She's 29, and it's 2015. So nine years ago. 2006? So Jeff King? Salem? I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down. Or is it the dog? That's the that's the password. I'm gonna say Salem. Salem, and I'll just write Jeff B. There we go. How about that? How do I... Wait, then which computer did she say? Your brain is a creative computer. Na 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 na. Uh... Reception desk? Where is the... Oh, up here. Gotta be in here, right? Wait, how do I get into the... Oh, right here's one. Where are we going? You're going to jail, kids! We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. I don't think I would've written anything down and struggled in this game. Yeah, like... A lot of the games, I'm just like, you know what, I gotta write this shit down, or I'm gonna be struggling for so long. 
Like, that's just, like, I never used to write anything down. But, like, I guess since I started streaming a lot more, um, I'm like, no, I have to write this shit down or it's not gonna happen. Yo, so can I get in here? This is the reception computer, right? Oh, that's the Alaskan that thing. That coffee is sounding real good. Whew. Rose never lets me back here. Rose. Huh. Rose left the computer on. Is it D. Wilson? Oh, fuck. Bingo. Dude, I'm I'm fucking hacker man. <laughs> uh, hey, G. Oh, Sam. What about him? Oh, this is Sam. Okay. It's a heads he up. He got arrested for public intoxication last oh, week. Oh no. That was not his first offense. They're picking up their He's on a bit of a downward morning. spiral. Spent the night in the drunk tank again. We picked him up outside Bernie's last night. Drunk out of his mind, terrorizing customers. He goes off pretty quickly once he got to the station. So he should be better by the time you get there. Might have a huge hangover, though. So I bring him a big ass coffee and donuts if I were you. Okay, cool. Big regs. Miss Reynolds bought a set of keys that she found lying on the ground outside of Betsy's this morning. Small keys and bottle opener keychain. If anyone comes looking in for them, they're in the lost and found covered. I'd have filed this properly, but that new administration stuff where bullshit was down all day. Seriously, who has, whose idea was it to change it? I'd like to invite them. Uh, to this new two-way rifle range I found. Wow, dude. Yeah, let's just shoot this guy. In. Come on, bro. Your order has been shipped. Thank you for shopping. Your order of Just Between Us Season 2 complete DVD set has shipped. Arriving November 7th. I'm clicking for more info. Uh, police lecture at youth. Yeah, I know, right? He needs to chill. Police lecture at youth center, Friday the 30th. Hey, D, are there any slides or reading material for your lecture on Friday? Also wanted to let you know that people sign up, so uh, lots of people sign up, so expect a good turnout. Wear your nicest suit. I think these kids really enjoy your talks. Keep it up. Um, Kayla Bennett, co-executive director, Juno Coalition of Equality, JZ. When I dare to be powerful, uh, to use my strength, the service of my vision, it becomes less and less important whether I'm afraid. Andre Lord. E. Wilson. Don't go up. Hello. Uh, hey, Kayla. Yep, I'll send you my slides as soon as I get home. I'm so glad to hear this. Here's my secret for keeping kids' attention. Tales from the Detox Tank. Uh, last time I showed them about how I got into a high-speed chase with a drunk guy on a snowmobile, I might have embellished some details, but it was a sp but it was all spiritually true, lol. Whatever it takes to get your point across, right? Scared straight. Oh, okay. Uh, Denise, senior officer. Oh, uh, girl, you're preaching to the choir. Uh, look forward to Friday. Okay, Kayla Bennett, co-executive director, Juno Coalition. Okay, that's the same thing. I don't think we found anything, right? Oh, I can use... I feel like that was absolutely nothing, but I was I was a hacker, man. Uh, let's see, what does this say? Memo, all police personnel, Rose Jackson, October 29th, 2015. New administration software, please reset. Okay, we got that, we got that. Good. So we already figured it out. Where is this memory? Is she like looking at it? Out of the way, Tyler. I got places to go. Maybe it's over here. I don't I don't see it. It's gone. I tried. It's gone, I tried. He's just gonna see all of the doors open and I'm gonna be like, it wasn't me. I didn't open every single one of these doors. I think I saw another... Didn't I just watch this one, though? I did. Why am I watching it again? Why do I have the option to watch it again? I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Yeah. I just... Usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. 
I don't want any coffee. Coffee's for losers. You That's okay? not true. I like coffee. I'm just feeling a little nauseous. I like coffee, but coffee doesn't like me. League standings, Arctic puppies, Mushers little helpers, Snowmies, Lightning Howlins. Dude, they're trolling. Who's Lightning Howlins? Very mature, bro. What's on your mind? Just thinking about how we slept in that corner over there. Yeah. On that paper-thin mattress from the cell. It could have been a pillow top and I wouldn't have slept a wink. I don't know how you come here every week. I've been here ten minutes and it's already fucking me up. It does still hurt, it you know. It never really stopped hurting. Hey, do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? I mean, that's yeah. a pretty stressful Why? night, so... Well, remember know, that nice really lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Sandy. Yeah. I used to dream about her a Sandy lot. Sandy, baby. Oh. Sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal. Like, we'd be sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing I wish lesson, I knew how to sew. And then suddenly, she would turn into Sandy. And she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until... I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. Jeez. Oh shit, dude. We've me and Tyler have twinsies a couple of these. I don't wanna be like don't be weird with Eddie. Let's go? Yep. Yeah. I'm just like, oh god, oh jeez, ah then I like stab my finger and then there's blood everywhere. I panic. Explosion. Oh my goodness. I'm not that hungry. What's wrong with these cookies? What the hell? Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. <laughs> How is it still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. I don't Too much sleep much mind. Yeah. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Is that another memory right here? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. They had a plan? Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? They lied? What did they lie about? You okay? Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now? No way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> I can't I'm tell if this is okay. By now. We should go find I him. can't tell if this is okay. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Wow. Yeah. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vape. Here, have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Oh. Sorry. Damn it. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Oh wow. I like this track. You guys remember that game I played where I was complaining it had no huh. music? What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time?
the Ice King. Is there anything in here? Yo, you good? So, isn't Brown waiting for us? I just want to see if you're okay, bro. Office. Chill. Why did you separate us? I wonder if she had to... Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Yeah, I want some real fancy hot chocolate. Like hella fancy, you know what I mean? Like like bougie fancy. You're off. Why did you put this in front of me? This is one? heavier than I expected. <clears throat> yeah, I want uh, some bougie stuff, you know? Reconsider budget. Okay, so we already read this newspaper. Wash your own cups and dishes, you fucks. I swear to God. Ooh, that's gotta be a new record. Days without bear sighting. Four, and then the little bear right there. Sorry. I don't know why he was Canadian. <laughs> what up, Captain? How are you doing? This is called Tell Me Why. Ain't nothing but a heart. You know, it's just it's called Tell Me Why. It's a new game from Don't Nod, which are the developers of Life is Strange. Yeah, I saw that. We were talking about Padwick Bozeman earlier. And it's fucking sad. Guys, if you don't know yet, Padwick Bozeman, our Black Panther, uh, passed away today. He lost his fight with, with cancer. And that's it's fucked. It's sad. But, uh, hey, you know, he was, he was Black Panther, and I think, like, he'll live on through that, you know? Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? <sighs> this is gonna be so awkward. Yeah, of course. How can I forget? How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. Look. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. I ate my the Wheaties. so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I would say children of the future. <laughs> no. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. That's true. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? Reunited <sighs> and yeah. it feels so good. Yeah, not sure so how I got good. by without this dork. Okay. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Oh no. Things aren't really adding up anymore and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior What's in the, the story days here? leading up um, to so, that day? Hold on, when, they, when there's anything a little, at all? I'll, I'll go over the story. No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at this all? Guy's hair, like, like this. in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Okay, so the game starts off uh with tyler over here in the police office here and he's like uh has blood all over him and basically what he says is that his mother tried to kill him because he he's uh he's transgender and he cut his hair really short and she went crazy and tried to kill him so he defended himself and killed her with a knife and that's how the story starts and this is 10 years later after um he's been in like a juvenile correction place where he graduated and then became a mentor to other kids there and then now he's finally back in this place to get closure and to meet up with his twin sister and um they're twins they have like special memory powers where they can relive and see their memories like outside and they can uh, telepathically speak to each other 
Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? That's, that's the story so far. About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. That's what other people I have see. said too. I will tell you one thing though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. Thanks. If you want my advice, Uncle Eddie. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. I have an Uncle Eddie. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. Her file. Pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Chill, bro. Are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, <laughs> I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Oh, it's making me answer this. Oh, no. I'm not here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't do this. Oh, I hate difficult choices. Alright, ready? Ready? Can I just, like, not answer? Or is there, like, a secret third answer? This is probably not the time to say it, but Allison's, like, super pretty. Um. Honestly, being kept apart could have been okay. But at the same time, I think he was just trying his best. And he wasn't, like, he seemed really young at the time. So he didn't know what was happening. And I think he was just trying to make best of the situation by following what was told to him by people who have dealt with this before. So I can understand both views, but I really don't want to pick a side right here. Can I just, like, not answer? Is there a question to just, uh, an option to just not answer? That's what what was hurting me. I <sighs> um. So I'm gonna do. Best choices are the hard ones. You write. Eddie was just doing his best to protect me, to protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each okay, other. Okay, okay, Alice, Allison's saving it. Isn't that what family's for? Allison's best girl, Can't she's saving it. Move on. Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay. Dude, Allison actually made Let's that go. so good. Allison recovered that so hard for me. What is that?
What the hell was that? I'm going to kill you! No! Please! Please! Mom! Mom, please! No, don't do this! Allison's the one who did it. My God. Killed her. I killed her. Allison. So Tyler takes the fall for Allison. For I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> That was it? That was the end? Fuck. Shit. That was pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm invested, guys. I'm invested in it. That, that... It gave me some good answers, but also brought up good questions that I think are important to get hype ready for the, for the next episode. You know what I mean? Like, I want to know what the Mad Hunter was doing and like what all that was. Yeah, that was cool. What'd you guys think? That was cool! I'm about it. This was... I... This was so much better than the last two games that I've played. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. But... Like, I'm invested. I'm invested in the characters. And Allison is best girl. Not be that guy, yeah. It's yeah. I put my I put my entire playthrough of Sense on YouTube, and I also put my rant at the end of how I felt about the game. But that's a completely different video, so you know. That was cool. I I enjoyed that. I'm really excited for the next episode. Erica Lindbeck. Yeah, she sounded so familiar. I knew she was someone that I was familiar with. Or is good luck. I wonder if there's like decisions that everybody made. I want to see like the decisions everybody else made.
Chief Executive Officer Oscar Yerbert Samuel Jo. That was cool, dude. I'm happy that I got this. I really am. Matthew Hoffman. Technology and IT team. Jerome. I liked the... It was really like it was really pretty, like the environments and everything. I don't think I've ever played another game in Alaska. I'm like I'm I'm trying to think. Like I've been trying to think this entire time. Like, is there another game I play that's happened in Alaska? Um There's a movie, you know, 30 days if you guys see 30 Days of Night, that happens in Alaska. That movie's pretty cool. But like, I don't think there's been an actual game game that's been like set in Alaska, and it's just like, yeah, you know, that's cool. So this is like new and cool, because this place is like Alaska is really pretty. Oh, don't they? Or is it? Or isn't, isn't it like the Arctic or something? I actually don't remember where they go. They go to a snowy place. I can tell you that much. They go to a snowy place. It could be Alaska, you know, it could be one of it. But, uh... Yeah, Pastor, Albert Pastore! Tony Park. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It, this, I think this did what a first episode is supposed to do. It introduced a lot of cool things in the story and all the characters, like, pretty well. To where I'm already invested in them. And it brought up a very interesting story and how they're dealing with it. And it brought up also, you know, a lot of different questions that I want answered. So I'm going to play the next, you know, episodes and stuff. So that's cool. Dude, it's my boy, Matt Booty. See that right under Phil Spencer? Matt Booty? Matt Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the, to the rest as well. I wish it was a little longer, but hey, it's, it's episodic. I, I know how long the episodes for Life is Strange were. So I'm not really like, you know, that shocked that it's only like three and a half hours. And I did spend a lot of time looking around everywhere. So if I was just running, you know, to and fro, then it probably would have been a lot shorter. But I think I got what I wanted out of it. But I think I think they're handling a lot of the more... I don't want to say touchy subjects. A lot of the more, you know... Um, Sub, you, you, know, you know what I mean? I think they're handling them pretty well. But, you know, I am I only know so much about it as well, so I, I hope it's handled pretty well. That, that's what my hope is. Okay. Accepted. Allison was happy. Okay, here we go. That Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offering. 78%, so I'm with the majority on there. 9% through the ring in the water? What the fuck? Allison was delighted to solve the princess's riddle with her brother. See? Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust at the store. A rift between him when she sighed with Eddie at the station. I don't think there's a rift. It's just like, I don't know. I didn't want to pick either of them. I wish there was a third choice. Protected himself against Sam's aggression. Oh, I was in the minority with that one. Opened up to the twins about Marianne. 48% learned the truth. I actually sided. I was 28% sided. I didn't want to side with either of them, honestly. But, like, I feel like Allison brought it back at the end, like, with her speech after that. You know? Allison. Uh, maybe it's just because um, I'm freaking 
simping for Allison, man.